During an expedition to capture images of rare marine organisms in the Gulf of Mexico, an expedition team filmed a giant monster squid in the deep depths. This footage has since become a unique and spectacular piece of scientific history. And in this video, we will explore the rare footage of the giant monster squid sighted in the Gulf of Mexico. A thin, rippling arm peeked out of the depths of the Gulf of Mexico's pitch black waters about two and a half thousand feet below the water's surface. This rippling appendage separated into a squirming swarm of tentacles, which fanned out in preparation for an actual massive monster squid to emerge from the shadows and launch an attack. As swiftly as it emerged from the waters, this creature vanishes into the watery depths. Giant squid are among the largest species of living things, with some reaching 43 feet in length. They reside at depths of 1,000 to 2,000 feet in the deep ocean and have been rarely observed by humans. Giant squid have long been the subject of myth and folklore due to their size and elusiveness. Sailors' legends of enormous tentacled creatures assaulting their ships have become part of maritime folklore. Despite its cultural significance, scientists are only now learning more about giant squid. The first video footage of a live giant squid in its natural habitat was captured in 2012. Previously, scientists have had to rely on inspecting dead species that had washed ashore or accidentally collected by fishermen. The footage of a live giant squid was captured in the U.S. territorial waters for the first time in U.S. history. A group of scientists on a National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration-funded expedition captured this footage. This team was examining the effects of light deprivation on deep-sea animals that live at 3,280 feet below the water's surface, known as the Midnight Zone. The less than 30-second footage was recorded around 100 miles southeast of New Orleans and showed what initially looked like a single arm emerging from the shadows. Suddenly, a dramatic expansion. The tentacle reveals itself to be the bottom half of the monster creature. After moving around in the water for a while, the squid steadily retracts and disappears back into the shadows. The research team noted in a mission report that after viewing the footage, these previously thought to be terrifying monsters had become very intriguing and mysterious creatures waiting. To film this momentous footage, the team of 23 researchers employed a sophisticated probe to access the ocean's depth. Be fortunate enough to entice this mysterious squid to the camera and sort through endless video footage captured to find it. The metal research vessel was suddenly struck by lightning, which almost destroyed the researchers' computers and video footage. One of the expedition's leaders, Edith Widder, called this experience one of the most amazing days he had experienced in the sea. After spending two weeks in the sea, Edith Widder, the founder of the Ocean Research and Conservation Association, recalled the extraordinary circumstance leading up to the discovery of the giant squid from the port where the research vessel docked. Following that, the research team set out to what is known as the Midnight Zone to examine marine life, using sophisticated cameras to investigate how deep-sea animals' vision can get impacted by the darkness at such deep depths. The specialized probe camera that the team employed is called the Medusa, manufactured by Edith Widder. This probe uses a red-colored light that is invisible to sea creatures to capture footage and has helped scientists to identify new sea species and keep an eye on those that are difficult to see. The researchers knew that they needed something to attract the giant squid and other deep-sea creatures to the cameras. So they rigged the probe with a fake bioluminescent jellyfish that sends a signal to these large predators that there is food nearby. Day after day passed and there was no sight of the giant squid. As the two-week expedition neared its end, the giant squid made its dramatic appearance in the camera footage. As a tempest storm raged over the gulf, Nathan J. Robinson, the director of the Cape Eleuthera Institute, barged into Widder's workspace where she was waiting for the footage captured by the Medusa to finish processing. Widder recalled that Nathan was speechless and his eyes were almost bulging out of his skull. And at that point, she could tell right away that he had found something incredible in the footage. The news of this discovery sparked excitement among the team. They tried their best to control this excitement 
because it is easy to get fooled by science. However, it became more challenging to control this excitement as they watched the footage of a creature that undeniably looked like a giant squid. But as they watched, they were unable to access an expert on the shore to analyze and correctly identify the giant squid. At that point, as if the situation wasn't already dramatic enough, the metal research vessel was struck by lightning. The loud boom caused Widder to race outside only to find the deck shrouded in brown and yellow smoke, with debris littered around the deck. The whole team of researchers was instantly concerned for the safety of their work computers containing their priceless footage. The whole team hurriedly entered the laboratory to confirm that the recorded footage was still intact, as if that was not enough. Widder recalled that a few hours after the lightning struck the deck, the vessel's captain alerted them of a water spout that was brewing nearby. This water spout is a weather phenomenon similar to a tornado. Thankfully, the whole weather drama subsided and everything worked out in the end. And they got to verify the identity of this giant squid. A zoologist at the National Systematic Laboratory of NOAA, Michael Vecchione, confirmed that the footage and pictures captured by the team were images of the mysterious giant squid estimated to be as long as 10 to 12 feet. Filming a giant monster squid in the deep sea has to be one of the most challenging feats ever, regardless of the terrible weather conditions and water spouts. It is so complicated that until Widder's team made the discovery using the Medusa probe system to capture this giant squid, no other research team had ever succeeded in finding the squid. The first photographs of a giant squid and a piece of its tentacle were captured by Japanese scientists in 2004. However, most of the past information on this giant squid made available to scientists came from the corpses of washed up specimens and those retrieved from sperm whale's guts. According to Widder, the giant squid is a mythical member of the deep sea community due to its enormous size strange appearance and mysterious nature, possessing two tentacles and eight wiggling arms. It has one of the biggest eyes ever spotted on an animal and a flesh-rending beak. It has three hearts circulating blue blood around its system and a jet propulsion system that can go in a forward and reverse motion. The legendary Kraken was based on the giant squid. Its popular notion of the squid as a sea monster was reinforced by appearances in Herman Melville's Moby Dick and Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. These books will probably provide the closest account of what people imagine the giant squid to be. According to their account, they believe humanity has witnessed the most incredible event ever revealed to humanity by the deep seas. An absolute wonder, with uncountable arms spreading out of its center, twisting and undulating like a bundle of snakes, as if mindlessly trying to grab any unfortunate creature that comes within its reach. A giant pulpy mass with a glinting cream hue, drifting in the watery den. It was an eerie, shapeless image of life swaying gently there in the deep, without any noticeable face or front and any imaginable indication of either sensory perception or instinct. The giant squid is seen so infrequently that despite the unanimous agreement that the creature is the largest sized living object in the deep sea, only very few people have any more than the vaguest notions about its actual form and state. Even though technology has made the accessibility and visibility of the giant squid relatively easier than Bacard's damned souls, the drama and challenges surrounding the discovery made by this expedition befit this mythical creature. After so much analysis by marine biologists and experts, they have learned more about the giant squid's behavior and anatomy from the footage. For example, they studied how the squid moves through the water and how it uses its tentacles to capture prey. They've also examined the squid's eye, which is the size of a basketball and one of the largest in the animal kingdom. Despite the excitement the video footage has generated, there are still so many unanswered questions about giant squid. For example, scientists do not know much about the squid's life cycle or reproductive habits because they have never existed in the wild. However, the footage has sparked renewed interest in studying these creatures and has spurred more efforts to be invested in learning more about them. The discovery of the giant squid video is a reminder of the incredible diversity of life on Earth and the mysteries that remain to be discovered. It is also a testament to the power of technology to help us better understand the natural world. 
With advanced camera systems and other tools, we can explore the deep ocean in ways that were once unimaginable and uncover new and fascinating creatures that have remained hidden for centuries. However, it is also a reminder of the fragility of our planet's ecosystems. The giant squid lives in the deep ocean, one of the most poorly understood and understudied environments on Earth. As human activities continue to impact the water bodies, from climate change to pollution to overfishing, it can negatively impact the lives of these creatures and others like them. The discovery of the giant squid footage is a call to action to protect our oceans and the sea animals that call them home. In conclusion, the haunting footage of a giant squid emerging from the darkness in the Gulf of Mexico is a testament to the incredible diversity of life on Earth and the power of technology to help us better understand it. While giant squid has long been the subject of myth and legend, we can now study them in detail and learn more about their behavior and biology. However, the footage also underscores the need to protect our planet's oceans and the creatures that live in them. As human activities continue to impact the environment, we must take action to reduce our impact and preserve these fragile ecosystems. These activities include reducing pollution, curbing climate change, and implementing responsible fishing practices. In addition, the footage highlights the importance of scientific research and exploration. With new technologies and approaches, we can explore the deep ocean in diverse ways and discover new and fascinating species that have remained hidden for centuries. By continuing to invest in scientific research and exploration, we can expand our knowledge of the natural world and develop new insights and solutions to possible difficulties. Overall, the haunting footage of a giant squid emerging from the darkness in the Gulf of Mexico is a remarkable and fascinating discovery. It reminds us of the incredible diversity of life on Earth, the power of technology to help us explore and understand it, and the importance of protecting our planet's oceans and the creatures that call them home. And that brings us to the end of this video. What do you think about this discovery? Let us know in the comments section. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. And as always, keep exploring.